All right, for the next wine beer here. Yeah, I can't even look. Oh, it's a dark beer. Dark beer. People drink these still? That's a thing. Oh, it thing smells there. so wonderful. Hmm. Can't immediately identify the beer, certainly by aroma. You know, it, it sort of reminds me of, um, it's not, but it reminds me a little bit of Old Rasputin. That earthy cocoa hmm. that Old Rasputin is known for. So more bitterness than Rasputin. Oh, but yeah. not extreme. No, but it is. It's almost more like a black IPA. Yeah, and interestingly enough, there's not a lot of middle body in this. No. And I, I would, this is probably stained. This is probably mm -hmm. not. Because you don't get the Or at most, it's like midnight wheat. Right, You're right, like, right. Oh, yeah. It's you like, don't get any acridity. Mm -mm. There's almost a, it's more fruity than it is chocolatey, roasty coffee. I was thinking like, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like an English ale strain of some sort. Yeah, and, and they're using like modern fruitier hops, maybe an English strain, dry strain, dry English strain. What's the fancy mushroom that pigs sniff out? Oh, uh, truffles. 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 Right? <laughs> oh, I love truffles. I do love truffles. I just wanted yeah. you to say truffles so you could get <laughs> yeah. a boner on camera. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like, Lamet, <laughs> yeah. to me, when added late stages, has a very, like, truffle, earthy mm. aroma to it. Fuggle does that a little bit? Yeah, it's true. Fuggle, Willamette, I could totally see. I mean, see. they're like. I mean, very, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. They're like brothers and sisters in the Ozarks, man. Those two are getting <laughs> together. There's like a it's, very small family tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when you said black IPA, it ruined me for the rest of this beer. Yeah, okay. Oh, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> the middle of this It beer. almost looks like Coca-Cola, well, if you hold it just actually, right. Actually, Coca-Cola was the first thing I smelled as soon as you popped it yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And I actually get Coca-Cola from all Yep, it's them. definitely Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you, told me, if you told me this was Moxie, I'd be <laughs> no. it. Moxie is gross. But with alcohol. <laughs> no, no. I mean, so it's yeah. good. Therefore, good. Uh, I actually, I, I like this and then I don't. The first like month we were open, we put out a black IPA. And then mm -hmm. I literally would be like, here's a pint for free, person, drink it, it's good. Oh, and they'd be like, I don't drink black IPAs. I'm like, you had seven IPAs. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> you had seven IPAs. Yeah. What do you mean you don't drink black IPA? Well, it's just one <laughs> Would you drink a stout? Yes. Would you drink an IPA? <laughs> yes. We've established this. Again. I don't think this is Sean Hill. It's not. I don't think it is either. Sean Hill does more with his black IPAs. And a different water profile. He has more chloride in this. This doesn't have the chloride. This is big on gypsum. Again, still, it keeps telling me alchemist. It's still, I, I wouldn't, I, I think you're right. But uh, he also emphasizes, it's weird. If you didn't look at the glass with Sean Hills, mm -hmm. you would think you're drinking an IPA. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Right? Because you don't yeah. get dark malt. Yeah. You don't get acridity. And, like, I, it's hard to know, like, because I've already seen it, am I picturing it? Like, is it really there? I don't know. Like, it's hard to be, like, if we were really in a dark room or if this was, I was somehow, like, blindfolded. This is a black IPA. All right. I, I think we, we, we've covered that. Let's see what it is. Black Metal, Black Double IPA from Trillium. I've actually not had this one. I wonder how this sold. I mean, do you think that... Mm. If this was the only release that day, that Trillium had a six-hour line with... No, no, no. Yeah. I don't think well, so. remember, well, there was like a year where this was the thing. Like, every brewery had a black IPA oh, for like... Was, was it like 2013 or something? Yeah, or, like, well, it was like... I, I forget exactly. I was living Oregon yeah. at the time. 2009 was huge oh, for Cascadia. Well, on this side of the on country, this side, though, I know No, you guys old. had a little different... Okay. Yes. They're saying they had light roast coffee, which may be real light, charred pretzel, bright chocolate... Uh, balanced with earthy pine, floral, and fruit nuts. Now, I buy all the hops. Yeah, we the, the bright chocolate and light roast coffee, I'm not sure. Simcoe I got for sure. Columbus yeah, I got Columbus, for sure. Yeah, Columbus, Simcoe, Centennial. Centennial, I didn't really pick up any like of that. Mm -hmm. like, I guess it may have gotten hidden by the dark. Mm -hmm. The dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And look at that, Midnight Wheat. Midnight Wheat. Oh, yeah.